What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and in today's video I'm of course going to be showcasing and talking about some brand new screenshots of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so there isn't too much to say about these first few original trilogy shots as they mainly showcase some of the same moments that we saw in the actual gameplay trailer, just in higher quality. But they are still very cool, especially this shot of C-3PO riding a banther through Mos Eisley as it definitely gives us a much closer look at the Dowager Queen wreckage as well as a nice little glimpse at the variety of different NPCs that we can expect to meet on Tatooine. Next up we have a much better look at Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi's duel with Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace as well as a cool new shot from Endor of Chewbacca and Wicket the Ewok who is of course armed with a spear. Up next here we have two new shots taken from Kef Beer, the first being this close-up of Kylo Ren minus the helmet of course while the second image reveals that we'll also be doing some platforming as Rey during this section of the game. Moving on, here we have a new look at Finn and Rose Tico in their First Order disguises as they steal an ATST from the Supremacy, which we also saw in the latest trailer. But as well as this, we can also see many stormtroopers on the ground, one of which is trying to put out the fires, while another appears to be dual wielding two blaster rifles, and the rest are either just standing there doing nothing or running around panicking over the fire. And this other Last Jedi screenshot is pretty cool too, because it looks to be set during Luke's face off with Kylo at the end of the movie, which we of course got a glimpse of in the countdown trailer. But this shot also gives us a great look at Ren's TIE silencer and the ATM6 walkers. Now this next screenshot is very interesting because here of course we can see Princess Leia aboard the Tantive 4 as she takes on two stormtroopers, each armed with blasters, while the one on the left is also holding a thermal detonator. However, the biggest thing to point out here is that big hole in the door, specifically the red lighting behind it as it is exactly the same as this shot of Darth Vader from the latest trailer. So it would seem that instead of having Vader enter the Tantive IV exactly like he does at the beginning of A New Hope, the team instead decided to replace that moment with a homage to Vader's final scene in Rogue One. Here we have a new look at Anakin Skywalker and Mace Windu during the Battle of Geonosis, and I particularly like how Anakin still has a chain on his left arm, just like we see in Attack of the Clones. I mean, the attention to detail in this game is just incredible. But aside from the many battle droids and super battle droids that we can see, there is also a mini kit hidden in the background, which is pretty cool as it's the first that I've heard of them making a return. So it just goes to show that there is still so much that we don't know about this game. And for the final screenshot that we'll be taking a look at today, we have this awesome new look inside the ruins of the second Death Star, where we can see a battle between Kylo and Rey in the Emperor's throne room. So for context, Rey has probably found the Sith Wayfinder in here and Kylo has just destroyed it. Lastly, in the background of this shot, we can see a classic Stormtrooper helmet, but also a big door behind Rey and Kylo, which appears to have a line around it, suggesting that you might be able to cut it open with your lightsaber. So I can only assume that this will lead to the secret vault where Rey encountered a dark side version of herself in the movie, which I am very excited to see in this game, as I could imagine the team making that encounter into a slightly longer battle sequence, similar to what they did with Luke's battle against the fake Vader on Dagobah in the complete saga game. But of course, we will just have to wait and see. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And as always, if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news on Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, then please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.